I was drawn very early on to the power of film, the emotional power of film. Um, and I watched my father cry when I was 12 years old at a movie. And I suddenly understood its extraordinary power and sort of committed at that point to becoming a filmmaker. And uh, I like that. I like the fact that it might be a place where we can safely experience powerful emotions about love, about loss, about patriotism. This is not an academic paper. This is not a scholarly um, uh, book, textbook. This is a film. Uh, and, and, and people say, what's your audience? And I say, everybody. And they go, oh, come on. You, you, know, you must have some demographic. I go, no. I mean, as anybody from eighth grade on, I guess. I mean, ignorant but curious. That's what I want. And then I have to earn your attention. And I make really, really long films in an age of short, short attention spans. I was warned in 1990 when the Civil War came out, no one will watch this. It, 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 we live in the MTV generation of the quick cuts of music videos. No one will watch this. Well, it, 40 million Americans watched it the first time it was aired. It's still the highest rated program in the history of public television. Ladies and gentlemen, prodigious videographer, insightful historian, public intellectual, and a leading thinker of our time. Please welcome Ken Burns. Well, I'm a Midwestern boy, and I grew up in Ann Arbor, so I see a lot of things that are very familiar to me, a college town and a big campus and the influence of students. And I am anxious to be here. I am working on a series on the history of the Vietnam War. May 4th, 1970 is a hugely important day in American history. Americans stopped a war. And it had to do with soldiers coming home saying this is wrong. It had to do with people on college campuses. And we witnessed the fact that for the first time we began to doubt whether our government was telling us the right things. And I think we can, the suspicion of government that has been a part of the American character from the very, very beginning, uh, has metastasized since Vietnam, since what happened here. My speech is uh, essentially called Sharing the American Experience, which is like a nothing title. Um, it's essentially looking at the trilogy of films that I spent 17 years of my life working on, of the Civil War, baseball, and jazz. Uh, how they're interrelated, how they speak to these themes of our Americanness, uh, what engage me in them. Every documentary filmmaker that I know who's been working for any length of time has have arrived at that from a totally unique path. If you want to be a doctor or a lawyer or a feature filmmaker in Hollywood, I can tell you the path to take, what you have to do to do it. But, it, but in what I do, it's all sui generis, which is Latin for, you know, of itself, made up. You, each, each path is unique. And that's, you know, um, that's the terror and the joy. There is no career path, you know. That's both the blessing and the curse.